From the brink of bankruptcy to a wealthier than Tony Stark situation, NVIDIA's story is like a Bollywood comeback tale with a superhero twist. They started out wanting to make video games epic and somehow ended up leading the AI revolution. How did this happen? How did NVIDIA go from gaming underdog to the king of AI chips? Let's dive in. It all started back in 1993. Jen Hsun Huang, a young engineer, co-founded NVIDIA with one goal, make video games look incredible. See, back then, computers struggled to make games look realistic. Huang's solution? The GPU. It changed everything. Did you know NVIDIA's name is actually pretty clever? NV stands for next version, like they're always thinking ahead. And the NVIDIA part? That's Latin for envy. Get that green color? They wanted everyone jealous of their tech, just like everyone envies Iron Man suit. As games got more popular, NVIDIA did too. But Huang wasn't satisfied with just being the best at gaming. He had his eye on something even bigger. Artificial Intelligence In 2006, NVIDIA made a game-changing move. They realized their GPUs, designed for graphics, could actually help with AI too. Researchers found out those GPUs, great for making complex images, could also supercharge AI calculations. Think of all those math problems that give computers headaches. NVIDIA's GPUs made them a breeze. It was like giving AI rocket fuel. NVIDIA's chips went from making your game look cool to powering insane stuff like analyzing diseases or building self-driving cars. That's huge! NVIDIA realized this and in 2012 went all in on AI, investing in special chips just for AI work. It was a risky move back then, but man, did it pay off? Fast forward to ChatGPT in 2022, and boom, now Google, Facebook, everyone wants NVIDIA's chips to build their own crazy AI. NVIDIA became the backbone of all this innovation. Their special AI chips were the must-haves, and companies lined up, begging for more as the AI arms race kicked into high gear. Huang declared that AI is going to be a massive force for the economy, and guess who's got a front row seat? NVIDIA. They're pushing the boundaries with stuff like Omniverse for crazy 3D simulations, or Megatron, one of the biggest language models out there. And in 2023, they hit a trillion dollar valuation. And just when we thought their impact couldn't get any more profound, they introduced the Blackwell platform in 2024, named after David Harold Blackwell, a mathematician known for his work in game theory and statistics. Blackwell is not just another chip. It's an architectural marvel designed to run trillion-parameter AI models, making it a cornerstone for advancements in data processing, engineering simulation, computer-aided drug design, quantum computing, and, most notably, generative AI. NVIDIA's vision didn't stop at computing. In 2024, they announced Project GR as a Zero T, a leap towards integrating AI with humanoid robots. Imagine robots that learn by observing, capable of understanding natural language and emulating human actions. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie. It's the reality NVIDIA is building with its Jetson Thor computer and the Isaac Robotics platform, paving the way for robots that could transform daily life and work as we know it. But even with all the success, it's not always smooth sailing. They face chip shortages, tensions with China, and they need to keep up with insane demand for their GPUs, which power all these new AIs. One big piece of this puzzle is TSMC. See, NVIDIA designs the chips, but they don't actually manufacture them. That's where TSMC, the world's best chip factory, comes in. But it's a bit of a weak point too, because TSMC is in Taiwan, and China isn't exactly Taiwan's biggest fan. So, there you have it. NVIDIA's story is proof that with crazy ideas, a bit of luck, and some serious guts, you can change the world. What do you think? Will they stay on top, or will competitors finally catch up? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.